Hey, we back. We are back. Let's just get everything. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Deadly Premonition. Yet again. Oh, yeah. Switch version. Chapter 14, I think it says. <laughs> and deal so you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Nick is leaving the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! I was going to say, but not Save for long. Life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't Weird save that... Becky. Okay, there it is. I couldn't save Diane. Okay, I was going to say, it's like the recap didn't tell you, didn't remind you that we that everyone's basically dead now? All three of them are dead? What were we going to do? There was something we were going to do. The Nick quest. That's right, the Nick quest. Nick wanted me to deliver this note. That's right. To Carol in the diner? We can, we're, if we said that we'd expect, inspect it. So, got primer all over my fingers. Maybe we'll do that before we give it, fork it over, so to speak. Let's see. Side quest. Okay, we can't actually inspect it. That was, that was just your call on a bluff, apparently. Um,. Those are cars we can't take. I guess we're gonna take one of the police cars here. Hey, Bear Minus Claire contributed thirty-four thousand to our ten free gift sub challenge. Thank you, Claire. As usual, thank you for stopping by to the stream as well. I've decided also, whenever we're done with the ten free gift sub thing, uh, maybe we'll have a. The next challenge will maybe be like a twelve-hour stream or something. That might be fun. I don't know how I just got agent honor from running into that telephone pole. I don't really know how that makes you a more honorable agent. Whatever. Who am I who am I to judge, right? So let's go. This is not where the diner is, is it? I don't think this is. This is Olivia's over there. Not even at the diner. It's one. Where? Why aren't you guys at your jobs? I mean, Jesus. Who's running the diner? Why is no one at the fucking at their job? I know it's a small town, but ran into the pole. Maybe told someone about it. <laughs> Very honorable. Yeah, there's the diner. It's actually behind us, isn't it? <laughs> Directly behind us. Thus making me more honorable. I don't know who we told about it. I didn't, I didn't see him pick up the telephone, let's just put it that way. Plus we are just like using our lights to get places faster for no reason. See, it's closed for an hour. Why is it closed at one, at one? He told God. Okay, well, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. He knows everything. You can't, it doesn't matter if you tell him. Does it say till 10 p.m.? Yeah, that's not true. It's one. The hell? I guess we're smoking a ciggy. Till Olivia gets here. When is that? Do you think it's like two or three? It really does you got honor for it? That's, your, that's like your theory. That's your opinion, man. The fuck? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that her? Book Mountain Bank, no. Lily, that's Lily, what the hell? She's just in her house. Maybe we can just go to her house. Can you steal the boy statue that's in front? Uh, no you cannot. You definitely cannot. Okay, 
let's go this way. So this is where uh, Anna's mom is. And I guess uh, Olivia's here? Tragic. It's an open world game, but it's not like a do anything you feel like kind of game. You still gotta maintain your agent honor. Am I in the right place? This place is... what the fuck? Forgot about the green lights. Wait, this is Anna's mom! God dang it! Wrong house! Greenhouse! We don't want the green. Uh oh. My internet just dipped to orange. For oh, it's yellow. Oh no! Why does this happen when I stream? And then it's red, and then it's yellow, and now it's green. And then it's red, and then it's orange, and now it's green. Why does this happen when I stream? The, the, oddly enough, the bitrate is totally normal. It's just, for some reason, giving me these weird color flashes. And on, apparently, and on my screen, I can see it just fine. Everything's fine to me. Probably watch the road instead of the stream health. Zach, did you want to go somewhere before? The Twitch says it's there? fine too. That's fine by me. Oh whatever. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see anything, I guess, until there's an actual problem. <sighs> Hello? Uh game? Everything looks normal here. Especially this black screen, huh? All right, well. That's an authentic Deadly Premonition experience. I guess we'll be restarting the game. <laughs> that was weird. That's never happened to me before on, on the Switch version. You could change the background to black and purple. I mean, you mean orange and purple? Orange and purple. But yeah, I did. This Whopper asked me to. Said it was more Halloweeny, so I did it. I absolutely did mean orange and purple. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not black. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, you might be colorblind if. Typing colors, you said the word black. Oh. Yeah, that's too. I did say the word black because it, the screen was absolutely turned in black. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try to go to... Uh, Carol's house, Lily, Carol, Olivia, so many, so many white girl names, I don't know, I don't know how to keep them apart, they all look the same too, they all look almost exactly the same, it's hard to keep them straight. So let's see, it should be... Hey, watch where you're- hey, hey! Can you- can you get your foot off the fucking gas, dude? You just hit an officer of the law. The law! Oh my god. What the fuck was that?! What the fuck was that?! Can't tell white women apart? Why is the car not going now? I can't tell them apart in this game, that's for sure. I'll give you that one. They all look the same. That's not... No black screen, baby. Already an improvement. I don't think the loading screen came up last time. Yeah! Brilliant. What's this? I'm gonna steal your onion, lady. Sick roll, though. 
gravity-defying roll, though, is pretty darn cool. Uh, I have, uh, this for you. What's this? Nick asked me to give it to you. It's a letter from him to you. Nick wrote this? For me? Olivia, I'm sorry for all the trouble I am causing you. I'm writing Why this letter this because I need to tell you some things. Why is there an echo? First, I'm sorry about meeting with Diane without telling you. My actions were irresponsible and may have caused you to misunderstand. But I swear to God I was not cheating on you. And I didn't kill Diane. That's what I wanted to tell you. As I sit here in this cell, all I can think about is you. Oh. Don't worry about keeping the diner open, okay? Try to eat. No, you keep too. the diner open. I had thought that this happiness we had would just go on forever. I've always been grateful to you. But I've never told you, have I? I used to think that putting it into words made it sound cheap. But at times like these, words are all we need. Why is she reading this to you? Thank you. She's not the everything. disembodied voice of Nick who's just in the prison is reading home, this to me. I'll make it up to you. Take care of yourself. I love you. Nick. Nick. <sighs> He's just in prison, man. Um, Agent... Could you wait a moment, please? I want to write a but reply. But she was reading it out loud? That's true. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, now we're the frickin' letter man. Oh, now I'm gonna read it in front of her. She Zach, put a butterfly I sticker Nick on it. Nick will feel better by this. Having obtained the letter from Olivia containing her heartfelt feelings, take it to Nick in his holding cell and put his mind at ease. That is an incomplete sentence. First, let's scour the area for some trading cards. Some children's trading cards. None, huh? Don't believe it. Oh yeah, we're about halfway done with this game. We've been doing like a lot of side quests, so I think we can probably, after we do this one, we're not getting all the side quests done because we already missed some, but I'm not gonna like wait for the, wait, what are you doing here? Get away from my car. I'm not gonna wait for like the weird conditions that you have to like, if it's raining on a Tuesday at 8 p.m. Cause that's just kind of like sitting around and waiting until you get like certain items. I don't really remember how to get those items. I don't really want to look it up. What the hell? What is going on with this car? What is going on here? So we'll just do what we can. We'll do everything we can and then that's that. It's not a 100% run. If we stream the game again, we can go for 100%. Do all the highlights and stuff we missed and not all the dumb shitty parts. Oh, this guy Nick down there? He keeps reading these letters out loud. Less gravity in the car? One car is a lot less gravity. A non-Newtonian huh? car. Give him a letter. And now I'm gonna give you a letter. And you're gonna read it out loud. It's a letter from Olivia. Sorry, I got my itchy armpits. From Olivia? What the? I wrote so much. More than I'd, I'd ever actually say. A lot more than this. And she writes me only... Three lines back. Not enough <laughs> for you? Oh, no. No, it's it's more than enough. She wrote as much as she like could. It. That's the best she could do right now. Yeah. 
Three powerful lines. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with the last one, though. I'm the one who has to apologize. Do you feel a little better now, then? Just wait until the case is finished. I promise this will all come to an end. Yeah. I, I know. I, I believe you. She's believing in me, too. And waiting for me. Well, I have to be I, going. Uh, I did hear you oh, say hold, that. Hold on a minute. Key to the back door of the diner. What's this? The key to the back door of the <laughs> diner. Broken knife. A big bag in the kitchen. I don't know if you could use it, but consider it yours. You'll have to help yourself to it, of course. I, I can't exactly go with you. Okay. I'll take this, and I'll go check it out. Looks like a return to better things for those two, eh, Zach? Big bag. Big bag. Big bag. Something important is hidden in the diner's kitchen. It's the key to back door of diner received from Nick to get inside after hours and continue the investigation. It's always after hours because uh, what's your face isn't going in there anymore, apparently. Got a big bag on his hip. Big bag on his hip. I do not remember what the thing is for this. The reward is. It's probably something big because it's its own quest, you know. It's probably not just a trading card. Oh, well, it might be. A lot of the time these are just trading card quests. The most after hours. Always after hours. Every hour is after hours. God, I have a big bite on my leg, I think. I don't know how I got it. It's so freaking itchy, though. All right, diner emergency. Oh, I forgot where I was going for a second. No, stop, stop, stop. Holy shit. I actually read up that the Switch version uh, has... The driving is actually like glitched out where it's like it's too fast. Which this is the only so one where it's like that. All the other ones are too that. slow. That's fine. All other me. versions of this game, this is the one where it's too fast all the time. Which in my opinion is the best glitch. That's a good one. There we go. Ugh. After hours, diner kitchen. What's in the bag is like an item bag. If you could use it, but it's a fanny pack. Cool. We'll be able to carry more items now, Zach. Bag that'll let you hold more items. It's a bag of bags. It's a fanny pack. It gave us a fanny pack. Just put it in the toolbox. I don't need a flare anymore. I don't need no flares. There's a card in here, but we already got it. That ought to be it. Let's see if there's any other uh, quests we can do. The Switch decided everyone was going to be Sonic while playing Deadly Premonition. Exactly. And we, we're all thankful for it. Yeah, I'm really mad at my internet for just saying that everything sucks and then doesn't suck and then is better. Without anything actually demonstrably being changed at all. I guess I should be thankful that it's not actually sucking so bad. There's Sigourney, which we're actually going to see Harry. So I don't know if we can get to Sigourney. 
and it literally has not rained outside of a, a main story mission since we in this entire file so there's so many quests i need to wait for it to rain and it's just not raining uh, there's nothing else to do but the main quest let's do the main quest main story story main quest main story main quest Gotta turn on the light safety first Boy, it's far away though, isn't it? My god. Oh god, I, 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 I hesitated. Which way do I go? Is it this way? I don't think it is. Ah, there it is. So, about Emily. My first impression when we met her on that bridge is. Slightly different from what I think about her now. Oh, don't don't, you don't take yourself a hole. And Zach, she seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? <laughs> no, don't answer. I'm just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. But I'd like to hear the truth because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship. You know? Me, I'm just interested in her. That's all. It isn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. You're pretty friendly with the ladies, aren't you, Zach? Hell yeah, dude. Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. I love how York thinks it is... Basically, his imaginary friend is has a better relationship with this girl who's interested in York than he is. He thinks his imaginary friend is try is making moves on her. Jesus H, car. Ooh, this is doing a lot of damage to this vehicle. Where do we go? Where are we going? Before we make go the wrong way, we only have so much... God damn it. So much health on this dang car. Which way are we going? Uh-oh. Oh, we went the wrong way, didn't we? Where the fuck Okay, so we're making a right here. Oh shit. You can make it. Holy shit, I'm not even pressing gas. This car's got a mind of its own. Jesus H, how do you get around here? Is it? Am I going the right way? I should have looked at the frickin' map before I started driving. This is the right way, yeah? It's down here. Up there, so we gotta come down here. Oh, this is... God, I'm getting so confused. Ugh! This is this is not up, this is down and Did I go the wrong way? No. I just gotta go this way. God damn it. We're about to find out what happens when the car reaches zero percent. Retrospect, maybe I should have saved before my last uh, mission was completed. Go 
It'll be an adventure for everyone. Seven, six. Oh, we made it. Yeah, we made it. Actually, is there a telephone over here? There is. Let's really quickly save and then see what happens when we crash the car to zero. Because I want to know. I've never done this before. Just like, just like how I thought that that meter below my health was like my heart attack gauge. I want to see what happens. No, don't go in there! Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Car accident penalty. Oh, it does kill you! You die in a car accident. Oh, that's good. That's good. Your car explodes with you inside of it. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. I will be more careful next time. Oh God, the hot, no, fuck that. I'm driving all the way back there. Reload. No, just. No, just stop. Just stop. Yes, title. Well, now we know. Now we know what it do. Previously during the investigation. Now we know what it was happening during the investigation. We'll run an ad quickly. That way we can, uh, get the shits done without having to, uh, delay the stream any longer. Vid games. Should I even be crashing cars is one way to fast travel to the hospital. Good to know. Yeah, you do lose a lot of Agent Honor, though, is the issue. Just almost there. Oh, Jesus. Just killing time for a second here. You're gonna add for beef jerky and racing. Ha <laughs> ha fuck is that noise? Driving around, driving around, driving around. I think I'm a white man. <laughs> Those comments uh, were very good. Bear minus Claire. I think that was good. I was happy to know that they knew exactly who they were selling their, their product to. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh Thank god, it's Michael around. Tillotson. You are welcome to come inside. Oh god, now I gotta drive up there. But I'm not a man. But, alternatively, maybe you are. <laughs> you just didn't know. Think about it. Is that Karl Marx? Mr. Who's Francis that? York Morgan, Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. Oh, 
Oh, right. I mean, if you're just gonna show me the secret, I mean, why, why even have the secret? It's like Karl Marx after he ate an edible. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Stop rhyming. Where's my gun? Stop rhyming. Stop it. Why are you still a suspect? Yes. I'm not going to listen to you because you're just going to talk in rhymes again. Is it just a mundane piano? What do you think, Zach? Well, no, because it opened the door. Somehow. Oh, there's going to be a musical puzzle. We know three, Eroica. So we know five, Fates. We know six, Pastorale. Left open. If Harry did this, it must have a meaning. Three, five, six. Is that the code? Maybe the same thing as the other the other frickin' uh, puzzle. You just gotta learn the letters. Very strange of him to have like oh. Go for dress room number one. Okay. Do they all have? Yes. We only need three, five, and six, right? Although we could get some high quality beef if we go through all the rooms, perhaps. So maybe we will go through all of them, just to be really sure. Yeah, it's three, five, six, probably. We're going to have so many umbrellas after this investigation, dudes. It's going to be good. Never have to buy a number, another umbrella for the rest of my life. Steal everyone's beef and their umbrellas. So far, only one piece of beef, but six umbrellas at minimum, so... It's already pretty good. Beef jerky commercial predicted this. It certainly did. All right, well now we have every umbrella I will ever need. That's the one door that's locked. Next, you have to race. The only race left is the one here, and I can't do it yet. Three. So, Harry is definitely the guy who's been building all these, like, mansions in Resident Evil and Prince of Persia and shit, right? That's how he made his money. He built, he made the police station in Raccoon City. That's why he's got so many millions of dollars. He retired to Greenvale. That dance. What up, Harry? What up, Harold? He's moonlighting as an architect? He's moonlighting as an eccentric billionaire. His full time as an architect. Oh, hey, Michael can just get in. Though. Fuck you, Michael. I fucking hate you. Mr. Francis York Moore, 
please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. Pretty my mom. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. She's not very particular about the best timing for all things. Now please drink this some tea and the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry. I'll take the edge lord over the fucking like guy it. who speaks in rhymes. It's so annoying. Harry's just an eccentric billionaire. Mr. Francis York Morgan, some tea with sugar is what's best admired. By your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. So what, it's fucking poison? I'm not drinking that tea, man. I'm not gonna drink it. Oh. Harry. Where did you get these seeds? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it, answer that question pretty quickly here. Mr. Francis York a... those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Yeah, which space is that, Harry? We shall talk after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Hey, Stewart. place and place doesn't rhyme, asshole. Also, is part of your beard died away so underneath that like ass? Games. Your sugar's done bad, it's all red. Mr. Francis York Morgan, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. Crowded, quiet, and cold sensation. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play. I think I just remember where it is. Let's see if they give it give it a hint at all. That was it? That's the whole mission? We gotta add one to the continues. Because I did want to see what happened when my car exploded. And uh yeah, it explodes. When you run out of health on your car, it explodes with you in it, which was very cool. It was excellent time. Much cooler than when I ran out of uh, the, the pulse meter. I thought that was going to give you a heart attack, and it definitely didn't give you a heart attack. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. Yeah, I think I remember where this is. It's a place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? Yes, the graveyard. It must be the graveyard. Yes, I did There's guess lots it right. of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? Nope, don't so understand. let's get going to the graveyard. They can speak when, you know, they raise from the dead and shit, right? Surely. Episode 315, Red Sea. Got places to be. Oh, the cars. Cars so fast. I mean, it's you know it's kind of it's satisfying to know that the Switch version is like it's not like a pro it's not like the pro version or anything like that like it's so much harder, but it's cool to know that it's the gotta go fast edition. <laughs> anyway, Zach, there aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. You can't rule that out. Yeah, you've done such a bad job. The raincoat killer ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. Don't get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. I'm just saying she's interesting. You know, as an interesting person. What are you but saying, by... York? She reminds me of something I used to feel. That's all. Like back when I first met Horny. You. you know that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids? Feeling safe while also feeling a need to protect. That kind of feeling. 
But Zack, who made me feel that back then? Anyways, we're getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. I have a feeling it's going to get tough. Oh, you don't even know the half of it, bud. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no. No. No, not like this. Not like this. No. Get, day, there we go. Holy Jesus. Whoa. Gotta go fast edition. <laughs> well, I had one wheel in it. it. Still counts. One wheel in the circle still counts. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Uh oh. See, it's not gonna be that quiet for much longer. I can already see the, the seeds. What up, Brian? Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm okay, man. How are you, how I'm, are you doing? I'm uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Well, those skies a look game? turbulent. A game? Oh, <laughs> is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. <laughs> well, thank you. And that one. And that one, too. Uh -oh. All red seeds. Uh-oh. Time to bust out my gat. Oh no, how can I ever just walk over these dirt mounds to my right and left? Oh shit. Hey, watch it, old man. Yes, I shot. Thanks. Yes. How's that? How's that not hitting her? Yes. Also, would you fuck yes. right fuck off? Amazing. Yes. Nice shot. Nice shot. Bullseye. Amazing. God yes. dang it, lady. Yes. Nope, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Why can't I get over here? Ah, it's Amazing. blocking me. Great. Great. Bullseye. Great. Yes. Oh, no. No, no, no! Don't do it! Shit! Shot. Yes. Ah! No, stop! I need to get through! Nice shot. Yes. Bullseye. Nice shot. Amazing. Yes. Fuck off! Amazing. Nice shot. You're an asshole. Can't catch me! I'm a gingerbread man! That was simultaneously the easiest and the hardest Otherworld mission. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward better be good. You just picked up one? You had a fistful earlier. You know about these seeds? They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water 
while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of mean? common sense the hard way, Zach. Carefully carrying a bottle of water in a pool. That's me. Hi, dog. Okay, well, I guess we're going back the way we came. Also, is there anything to do? Not that there's a new mission. Sorry I keep checking this, like, compulsively, but you kind of have to. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Maybe now I could do, uh, what's-her-faces? Sigourney's? I don't even think she's not even there anymore. Well, shit. Sigourney flew the coop. Oh, items. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. But I think that's a green tomato. Or an onion? I can't remember what they grow here. Ryan, give me your, uh... Yeah, green tomato. Nice. Definitely looks just like an apple, but whatever. Oh, they did put the body away, finally. That's good. Tombstone's on wrong, but whatever. Brian! 1921 to 1956. I've Brian. never seen that before. That's one sick joke, isn't it? What does that imply? Does that imply that he's dead? I don't even get it. Does that imply that that's his like future grave, but there were bones that were actually scattered around. I guess the implication is that he killed someone. He rose to the dead like a zombie and he killed the actual caretaker. That's actually kind of cool. When you think about it like that, I'm going the wrong way, I think. I don't think this is the right way to Harry's. What a Zach, bizarre implication. Rest if you're tired. No, it's not it's I'm tired. Who's tired? You must be tired. Take a take a freaking five hour energy. Dude. I just hope the car makes it there. Actually, is this the spot before where I I got lost? Which way do I go from here? This is the spot I got from this before. It's this way. Through these uh, very white spruces. Through the pile of rock. Oh my. What the? Excuse me? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Like that didn't happen. Okay, then we'll go down here. Now where is this? It's up there, I think. Yeah. The dirt road to Harry's. Know why the roads are built like this why does this game make you want to make you drive into walls constantly i have no idea do they have to be quite so narrow Thread in the needle. Holy 
guacamole. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. All right, Harry, we got it. Camera brand camera. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh my god, Finally, shut the you fuck have up. Arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Now I gotta drive up there. Or not, maybe. It's weird when they make you drive up there and when they when they don't. It's very bizarre. Like, adds an extra, like, three minutes to the drive. Yeah, play the piano, idiot. You're terrible. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. All right, I'll do as you ask. Is this, this is a totally different room. This is a totally different wing of the house. God dang it, Harry, 14, 23, 26. What is this man thinking? Or do you even have guests? Why do you have so many rooms here, man? That's the one that's locked. Are they all locked? What? I kind of remember this one, I think. Yeah, so it's like a ones digit and a tens digit. We gotta get each one to their specific thing. So let's see. So 14 would be 10 and then four here. So which one's closest? I guess this one. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. This is 23. Twenty-six. It's like not really the hardest puzzle in the world, we'll say. Just one of those time-wasting puzzles. Keep going. You gotta move like two more. Did 
you have to put one quite so far away, Harry? God forbid I was like myself. How does he do this anyway? Does he have Michael do it? He's in a wheelchair. Kind of ableist, Harry, for someone who's already stuck in a wheelchair, I, might, I must say. Hey, Mazel Tov. Oh my god. <laughs> what the nuts? What's up, man? How you doing? What were you playing? Welcome, welcome. The Not Don Knotts family. Money, cash, money. That's an interesting game I've never heard of before. How you doing? How was your stream? Dude, I need to figure out what's wrong with my Twitch. I'm not getting a single notification from Twitch and I don't know why. What the fuck? I'm back here. Disaster Report 4. It was great. Fuck. I wanted to watch Disaster Report 4. <laughs> that game looks interesting. I would absolutely like to play that game in the future. Watching you stream you it was cool too. Banned from the Mickey Mouse Club Some shadow banned? Oh, I'm in the wrong door, like an idiot, that's why. Wait a minute, no, this was the door I went in. It went to places? Uh oh. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> Alright, I'm wait a minute. This looks different, right? Well, I'm glad y'all showed up. We're playing Deadly Premonition. We're on like f mission 15. We're like halfway through the game, I think. Just kind of doing whatever side quests come up and having a blast in this good old game. It was a tonal shift? Oh no. I get all the notifications? That's so weird. I don't know why. It's got to be something to do with my, like the fact that I have an Android phone, I think. Excuse me. What is a side quest from? I don't even get to that side quest. Fuck. Okay, well there, now I know where to go. Must be a real fan. Hey, I'm sorry man, I'd show up if I could. I didn't even know you were streaming, man. I'm sorry. I'll see you chilling to you when I get them. I do get notifications they sometimes don't alert if my phone's been idle or something. See, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm not getting... I don't get it for literally any channel, though. Like, no channel will notify me. So it's obviously something to do with the Twitch app on Android or, like, my settings or something like that. Or my phone's just fucked up, which is a, a really strong possibility because my phone is dog shit. Harry, turns out what you said was true. And I'd like to hear more. You Darth Vader looking motherfucker. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen hella busy with school and love. Yeah. Murders in this town as or Twitch shadow banned me. But it's shadow banned everyone I follow then. That's right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Why is he Youngsters typing in so hard? hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Fifty years ago, when the war was over, just about when the communist red Those started, goddamn communists! A rising threat. Our town constructed a huge uh -oh. clock tower. Then Internet getting fucky. No, it looks like it's okay for now. A serial killer wearing a 
Oh, was this the mission? Oh, is this my favorite mission in the game? The legend of the raincoat killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. There's one mission that's in this that's my fucking floor. favorite. The it FBI is my has no favorite. record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. Yeah, I've, he's tried to murder me personally. about it then how do you know it really happened i was there good question york why would i know this the answer is very simple i was there knew it baby i saw it with my own eyes i hope it's my favorite mission i think it is i think it's my favorite mission is coming up I've already called him that like four times, so let's yeah, stick with that. He's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between 10 and 20 years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special, and someone else did too. The human imagination. Are the seeds even remotely important, though? Okay, that's why they're important. They're not really, because... That's not, that's not the problem here. The problem is that they're murdering people. Right? Become a fuck god. Yeah, what's the problem with that? That seems like a pretty beneficial thing for humanity. Thin the herd, become a fuck god. Two very two important things I stand for. Shit. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. That but is there's no evidence very to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. What a hundred what that's up behind a hundred poop now? How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. You lurking? That's cool. Lurk away, my man. Imagine all the vag Forrest Kaysen gets on the daily. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to imagine. I don't really want to imagine that man fucking. He looks like a baked potato. Okay, so there's one mission before. My favorite mission ever, I think. Wow, what? It's a baked potato man. It looks like a human pork chop hybrid man. Like his DNA is 50% pork okay, chop, 50% human. And we may as well let the old man. The party is over. <laughs> what is? What do you like? Everyone's like, set, like pork chop, pro pork chop humans here. Is that like a thing now? Everyone likes like pork chop human hybrids. This looks funny, man. He's a weird looking dude. I don't want to imagine him fucking. I don't.
God, I'm excited for this mission, though. Then I, I don't think it's this one, but it's the next one, I think. Fat shaming? No, it's not necessarily because he's fat. It's just that he's weird. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Yeah, we gotta get the documents, Let's then play it's my along favorite with the mission. Old man for a little longer, shall we? Zach, that means we need to head for the sheriff's department. Yeah, it's we gotta go to the sheriff's department first, then it's my favorite mission. Then. Also, I don't know why the sound's all crackly all of a sudden. I could probably fix it, but then I risk crashing my computer because my, for whatever reason, my Elgato does not like the Switch. It really doesn't. Yeah, there's no side quest to do. All right, good. That means we focus on my, so close to my favorite mission. If it really ends up bothering, the staticky, clicky sounds end up bothering someone, just let me know. I know they're there. I apologize. Actually, maybe I can do it without breaking the game. One sec, let's see if this works. Okay, no signal. That's fine, as long as it doesn't fucking crash. Please, no break a de. That should be good, right? Think? No, I think it's the same. I think I do. I have to, like, unplug it and plug it back in, which is... It is fucking annoying though, isn't it? It is hella annoying. Alright. Get them documents. Yeah, we'll save and we'll try and take care of that. Is it possible that these weird people in this strange town have documents that we don't have? York, I told you, that's nothing more than local folklore. Harry said that he was there. Also, the I've been. The killer is a phantom made up no, to scare children long but ago. He's so literally he attacked with an axe Harry. multiple times. I agree with George. It's just a DP I experience, baby. I mean, it kind of is, but it's also, this is extra janky. George, Emily, of course I don't believe him word for word, but you won't mind if I at least try to confirm that he's wrong, will you? <laughs> well then, can you yes look or no? the files by yourself? I'm still looking for Thomas. Ah, that's Very cool. Well. 60 Emily, FPS George is the best. For him. Dude, that's the one good thing about the PC version of this game. Uh, is you get like a hundred frames per second. You could like unlock that shit and it's great until the physics start getting weird. What the hell is this? Where am I? They're here too, Zach. What, what the hell happened? This might mean we're getting warmer to Audio Audio's crunchy as the devs intended. It is absolutely crunchy and I do apologize for that. That's my Elgato. I don't know why it's like that. I don't even know why- what the hell happened? Where am I? I was just like in George's office and then I just like Great. had a stroke and showed up here or something? Like I don't get it. Oh it's getting worse! Why is it getting worse? The crunch is consuming me. Do I risk uh, crashing the stream and just trying to fix it right now? I'm gonna set a poll. I'm gonna, we're gonna pull the chat. I don't even do a poll in this. I haven't done a poll in forever. Manage poll. New poll. Do I fucky the stream by unplug, unplug Elgato? Is. No. There we go. Duration. Three minutes. Go vote. Oh, if you can't say fucky, do I fricky the stream? There we go. There we go. Polls, polls going. Crash, crash, crash. All right, vote in the poll, man. Vote in the poll. Do I fucky? Do I risk fucking the stream up or not? 
I mean, this makes sense why it would be all sound weird during this part. Boat. Vote, 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 vote. Vote like your life depended on it. It's two to nothing, so we're definitely gonna try and... <laughs> they definitely want me to crash the stream, which is... troubling, as the streamer. <laughs> My commentary really that bad? We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Yeah, this definitely is too much noise. One time I did this and my whole computer crashed, which was incredibly troubling. But man, this is pretty insufferable as a headphones user. Audio is just really, really, really crunchy. I know, it sucks. It sucks. I don't know why this happens sometimes. My old god was just fucky. I don't know why. Keep voting, we're about halfway done. Anyone else want to vote? Pretty sure only Bear and Not Don Nots voted. <laughs> also, you can deactivate and activate. Oh, yeah, I could. Oh, shit. Okay, well played. Fucking good job, dude. That, that one got me. Prove it. Prove that I know what you what you're talking about. Uh, no, you draw a vagina first, dude. I'll prove it. If this is my webcam, that's not what I wanted. This is the one. Yeah. Deactivate. No, activate. But it's still here. But you still hear it, right? Like it's not the it's not the stream setting. It's my Elgato itself. So, I don't know. We just gotta... We're gonna have to freaky up the, the thing. Nineteen fifty-six. Space here looks too conspicuous. Something... Someone removed something. I got broken safe. Alright. Last few seconds for the voting. Oh, we don't need a profile. We have one piece of evidence. We can't figure this out, dude. Don't don't even try. You're just gonna be wrong. It's like now I'm worrying if there's gonna be a guy jumping out of every one of these. Okay, we're voted yes. Alright, we're gonna see if this crashes my stream. Alright, y'all ready? Three, two. Oh, I didn't even do it yet. Did it fall out? <laughs> I didn't even do it. No, that's even worse. Stop that. Okay. Everything looks good, right? Yeah, mic ain't on. No, yes. Okay, well now I'm confused. But everything should be good now. The music's less crunchy, so... Nothing crashed. I just gotta remember to reset my mic, like, turns itself off somehow, even though that's definitely not connected to the Elgato in any way. I don't know why that happens. Bullseye, yes. Amazing. Bullseye. It might be time to reinstall Windows. Let's get a fresh install there. Get all the. all the kinks out. Yes. There's something somewhere along the way that super so fucking nice shot. Can you not throw Amazing. right there? Yes. yes. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Bullseye. Yes. Great. Bullseye. Great. Great. Bullseye. Great. Nice shot. Great. Nice shot. Great. Yes. Oh, officers. Bullseye. Oh my god, I can't hit Bullseye. anything. I just put like 18 bullets in the floor and like 5 in that guy. Is there anything in here? Other than this Agent Honor and this one lollipop? Bullseye. Yes. Is kink shaming his computer? Kink shaming my. What do you mean kink shaming? Bullseye. Great. Bullseye. 
kink. Its yeah. kink is just not working. It's not like a kink. This is being annoying. Oh, I got another red seed. That's cool. Hmm? Sweet candy. Got that sweet, sweet candy. I got another red seed. It's like the 15th one I've found. Why is it still evidence? You know where they come from. We have like trees full of the bastards. <sighs> oh shit. Oh, we're back here. What what the hell? Did I just loop around? Oh, I guess it did. That's where I came from. It just teleported me back here, I think. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have I gone through this door all the way? I don't think I have. We've not. Great. Excuse me, officer. Great. Nice shot. I was going to say, how do I turn on my, my light here? A little bit. Nice shot, bullseye. This gun. Do they make it for men? Great, great. Oh Jesus! I'm sorry, it was just a bad joke. I didn't have anything else good to say. No, don't hit me! Don't hit me with the pipe. Great. Yes. Don't fight yes. me, bro. Nice shot. I gotta like, I gotta slow down because I'm going like back in that fra like phase because that one section had like infinitely responding enemies. I'm like back in the mindset of just run past them. Don't fight anyone. Just run past. Them. Yes, amazing. Which is not definitely not what you're supposed to do during most of the game. Because during most of the game, there's actually just a finite amount of dudes. What is going to be through this door? Nice shot. You call me an asshole. Oh, where did you come from? It's the second time I've been, like, gotten from behind. No, don't run towards... Oh, there's nowhere else to go. Oh, this is bad. No! Stop! I'm getting swarmed. Oh my god, how many are there? Oh, Jesus. Amazing. Yes. Great. Great. Nice shot. Oh, he's not dead. Great. Amazing. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Nice shot. Good freaking Lord. Amazing. Bullseye. Oh, I knew there's even more behind me. Amazing. Amazing. Nice shot. Can you imagine doing this without the infinite gun? A lot of dudes here. Like a fair amount of dudes. Bullseye. Great. I don't like when they call me an asshole. They clearly are like, asshole. Amazing. See? He's absolutely yes. calling me an asshole. Oh, you. At least I'm not dead, idiot. Yes. But this room definitely has infinite dudes, I think. There's an absurd amount of dudes coming out of this room. Dried drops of water. Oh, wait, that's a clue. Yes? I mean, can... I was gonna say, can we do the profiling now, or... Where are we? 
This one's a weird segment. It, like, teleports you randomly. The map is kind of weird. It's not really in relation to the police station where you're at, actually at. Like, in physical space. It's a weird one. So he came by with a flashlight, just dropping seeds out of his pocket. Like Johnny Appleseed. He looked at the, the date with, during the massacre and... like jammed it with a car jack or something. It just left. Okay. Zach, looks like we need to continue our search for the documents. <laughs> looks like we need to continue the search for documents. <laughs> that face every time gets me. Gets me every time. George, I'll get right to the point. It looks like someone else has just removed the documents I'm looking for. See, like, this was, like, during a conversation? Like, what's going on? Huh? I get it. Removed? The cabinet looks like it had been forced open. That's impossible. No one could break into there. No. Emily. Thomas could. There is one person that can access that room at any time. Any of the police. You don't mean Thomas? It's too early to speculate. Profiling is my job, remember? More importantly, Emily, could you get me a coffee? A fresh one, if possible. Coffee? At a time like this? Why now? Emily, it's please. The juice is flowing. This is very important. Some coffee. And bring some milk on the side. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chop, chop. Zach. Something, don't you? I'm getting us some coffee. So tell me what you know. I mean, I don't know anything more than you do, I guess. Well, that's not true. I have played this game before, so I kind of know the ending, but I'm not going to tell you. The big fish. What does that? What does that mug say? That's a top tier mug right there. I'm pretty sure it says the big fish around here. Call me something. I think. Ah, Zach, this is amazing. Even the taste of her coffee is thrilling, <laughs> to say the least. What? No, nothing. Can't even make coffee? That's true, it's though. Some people can't. Thomas always uses for me, is it? Big fish are biting at I'm something false. I'm sorry false. about that, too, then. I just used a cup eh, that was a nearby. Mid-tier fishing that? mug. Problem. Not at all, my dear Emily. The coffee is perfect. Well, okay, taste aside, this cup certainly is perfect. Velvet Falls. George, Emily, we're going to Velvet Falls. <laughs> There's something waiting for us there. I can feel it. York, are you joking? You're trusting your cup? No. Oh, yeah. Emily, going to a waterfall just might be a good idea. In feng shui, a waterfall is known to be a source of power. And George, you don't strike me as a feng shui kind of guy. Nothing there. I'm sure it will give us some power. Thanks for the vote of confidence, George. And don't forget to bring a fishing rod. All right, I'll go get it. Fishing? <laughs> Are you too serious? George, you have a net. <laughs> yeah, screw the investigation. Let's just go fishing. <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. That's another chapter down. The chapters get shorter and shorter as the game goes on. You can tell they were like running out of budget. Chapter one, huge. Chapter two, big. Chapter three, large. Then four, five, and six are small. Then after that, it gets like incredibly short. Like, technically, we're halfway through the game right now, I think. We were halfway, I think. Now it's like... But I think in reality, I think I've done actually a, a great... The vast majority of the content. It's really just the main quest at this point. And then, like, some post-game quests, I think, are the big ones that we're missing. Too bad it's not raining. We could catch Tabitha now. Zach, I hope we can catch a big one. 
Yeah, well, may as well give it a shot. Here we go, baby. Why is there just a blank fishing rod? I guess I'll use the actual fishing rod. Oh yeah, we get the infinite worm, baby. The infinite worm. Love it. Yeah. Now this is the survival horror experience we all wanted. Let's go deadly premonition. With infinite worm too. Reel it in. No, I got the, oh. Well, that's not good. We're actually trying to get that little like filing cabinet thing. Which if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like you better be good at the at the fishing mini game in this because otherwise you just can't progress in the game. Sometimes it takes a bit. I think the last time I played this game, it did take me like a, a good bit. I want to say like 15 minutes or more to try and get this thing. But fishing mini game, you know, can't be that bad. Gives you something to do here. Oh, all right, let's reel her in. Okay. So how's everyone's day doing? <laughs> this is like murder for streaming content. <laughs> it's like, oh boy. I hope y'all like fishing in a mini game. Like, I can't even make the fish bite if I wanted to. Buckle up, kids. Going, gonna be here for a minute is my assumption. Oh, no, so close. Very close. Very, very close. It sucks that the the um, the arrows are so far to the right, so you can't really plan it out like you can with the other ones. I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like you, it's like in the middle, and sometimes I feel like it's at the right. There's a reason for that. Now we're gonna get this. Oh, oh! We did it. Awesome. That's probably the fastest I've ever got it. The fishing sack. We've caught something to brag about now. In we did it. History of the FBI, MLG fishing. I'm probably the only one who fished out documents thrown into a waterfall. Don't you think so, Zach? Yeah, probably. I can't I just imagine. Don't <laughs> believe it. Files from a waterfall. There you go. Don't ever question his methods. So what's in the files? One, for eternal life and eternal power, make four human sacrifices on rainy nights, each after eating the seeds. Oh, this must be from the IRS. Make sure the sacrificed eat the seeds too before they die. Sacrifice must also not speak while they are being killed. What oh. does that all mean? Well, I guess that didn't work because I think it's called the legend. Two out of, the of three raincoat killer have been talking when they died. George, have you ever seen this handwriting? <gasps> yes, it's Thomas's. Holy guacamole! George, I need to take these guy. documents to Harry. He said he'd tell me everything once I take the docs to him. Those are classified. I can't allow a civilian to view them. Well, especially I gotta take my shoes off, too. The old goat who owns most of the town. I agree with switch, George. Like, Harry down is... How can I put it? Even when my cat's not this over. You don't need to worry. You said it yourselves, didn't you? There has never been a mass murder case in this town. That means these documents pertain to a case that never actually happened. 
Also, it was a million just years look ago. At it as though they never actually existed. Either. Also, it just tells you to eat seeds Ridiculous. and kill people. It's not like York. Top I'm sure you've got a plan or something in mind. Urban myth. Okay, you have my approval. George, are you sure? Emily, we need to continue looking for Thomas. Our search may just have become a hunt. Yes, get on it. I'll go see Harry alone. Okay. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself. But Thomas? There's got to be a rational explanation for this. Well, there's an explanation. I wouldn't call it rational. I'd actually call it irrational. That call it the craziest freaking story. I think the deaths of Becky and Diane had a deep effect on him. I guess this town truly is without a king now. That was it. Another quest, another mission done. Just the fishing is a mission in itself now. That's what I mean when I say like it gets shorter and shorter. Okay then, Zach. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. Yeah, now this is going to be the upcoming my favorite. I should admit. I do like spending a bit of time. When we go back in time, that's the best yeah, bit. That's the best bit of the game. Too actually. slow and too fast. You agree with me, right, Zach? No, but let me just... I have a minute here. Cuts out for a second. Okay. Uh, I think we can... Can we just teleport there? I think we can. Let's see if there's a side quest actually. It's sunny, so there's not much we can do. I guess we can go to the forest still if that quest is still active and give that picture to whoever's there. Um, I don't know if it's still active. Looks like there's no other quests here. Let's see if that quest is still active. These are definitely not. These ones are rip. The Emily quest we did not get. Chapter 18. Oh, we can! Why can't Anna's force that early afternoon weather is clear? Give the person the out-of-focus picture. So what time is it? Oh, it's not early afternoon, though. That's the problem. Alright, fuck it. We're not, we're not gonna do that. We'll just keep going with the mission. The story. The side content's really good in this game. Uh, the one problem with it is that it can be a total pain in the ass to kind of, like, get the conditions that trigger the stuff. Like, there's a lot of quests that have to be done, like, after 8 p.m. when it's raining. Or it's like, you have to do it in the morning when it's raining. Or it has to be, the person has to be in their house. And it's like, and they're never in the house. It's, oh, this is easy. Yeah, Michael, it's me. Mr. Francis York Morgan. I hate this Finally, guy so much. you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. I basically hate anyone who speaks in riddles. I think that's the most annoying thing. There's anything in the world that's more annoying than people who speak in riddles in fiction. Hmm. Is this going to be an other world segment? I don't really remember if this is another world segment or not. Looks like the next game is hide and seek. Huh? <laughs> Oh, it sure is. Yeah, the game from now on gets like such a crazy breakneck pace that a lot of it kind of blends together. I even have the pistol in my inventory anymore. I'd never use the pistol if I didn't have to. All you basically need are like the Magnum, the shotgun, and the submachine gun, the infinite. And that's kind of it. These girls, Zach. Do you see the resemblance? Anna, Becky, she looks like Diane, and Carol, 
Zach, look. Emily. All literally all of the women in town were under like the age of sixty. Should not be that shocking. Oh, that could be though. That could be a lot of bad dudes popping up out of here out of nowhere, right? Just quickly swoop up these items while we can. Get that high quality beef. Look at that. It looks like KBBQ, baby. I'll take that. Well, that's a damn problem. Yeah, now they show up. Okay. Oh, it's only three of them. We've definitely dealt with worse. Bullseye, bullseye. Great. Yes, I shot. Spraying and praying, baby. Spraying and praying. The Switch is a hard console to do shooters with. There is, apparently the Doom Eternal port is like stupid good on the Switch. Which makes me very interested. Even though I did not even really like Doom Eternal that much. Um, I am very curious how, as to how a Switch port of Doom Eternal can be good. I am very curious about that. Excuse me, John Wayne. I'd like to see what this turkey sandwich is all about. <laughs> oh boy, that... I don't know if I'd put that in my mouth. Dog? Static? Growling? Whoa! Alright, you got me. You freaking got me. Are you breaking the windows out of here? Inconsiderate. You are not going to be invited back to Harry's place if he finds out about that one. There's actually a card out here or something, isn't there? No, oh, maybe this is Critical Path, actually. Oh. He ain't dead. Cut that out, man. You gotta live in this house when you're gone. That shot was great. Amazing, yes. Now this looks like a JPEG. Yeah, it is a JPEG. You cannot go through that. <laughs> Ooh. Great. You, you expect at least one of these statues to come to life, but... Oh, there's a... Ah, where's the reticle? No, I'm gonna get a shot! Shoot it first! Bullseye. I shot the lock off that door from here, because I couldn't tell where my reticle was. Soldier boy, tell us. Yes, I shot. Oh yeah, I'll take those. I don't have the 357 Magnum yet, but... When I do, I'm gonna have a lot of bullets for it. Oh, and the 5.56. Take the NATO ammo. Let's see, this way? Maybe? Why not? Drop a save, why not? Cost a dollar. Actually, it doesn't, because this is a private residence. Why would you pay a dollar to use your own phone? Large first aid kit, nice. Yeah, the other worlds get kind of weird now. It's like, they happen at the most random times and it's not just like the raincoat killer's like not even really there anymore and shit. It's just weird. 
just bizarre. So you can't even move these. They want me to just go through here and then I'll turn around and fight the dudes. Okay, it's just normal zombie guys again. I've been fighting for like, what, how many Great. hours now? 10? 20? Great. Bullseye. Like that. Oh, it's got a baseball that far. Great. Watch out. Yeah, another one. Oh shit, there you are. I was gonna say, I can hear yes. another one. Great. Bullseye. That didn't hit anyone. Great, great, great. Nice shot. Amazing. <laughs> great, great, great. Nice shot. Amazing. Great. Oh, shit. That dude almost killed me. Getting a little bit cocky. Let's use that large red kid. Yes. Close. Amazing. Do not need a shotgun. Amazing. Close. The game's usually pretty easy, but sometimes if you if you trip up, if you're not paying attention, we'll punish you. Let's see, I think this is the right way. This place is an absolute maze. All of these rooms look exactly the same. Uh ooh. You don't want her in here. Ma'am, I'm changing. Okay. Soldier boy. <laughs> Such a dumb joke, but it makes me laugh every time. I'll take a medium first aid kit. that needs to be shot off here. Is this the same room I was in or a different one? I'm confused now. Jesus, this map is so hard to read. Uh, it wasn't here. This is, I think this is the same room I was in. We're not looking for any kind of evidence though, so it might be fine. Yeah, this is definitely the same room because this is the 12 gauge ammo I found. Not really, yeah, this is the same. So clearly we went the wrong way somewhere. Maybe it was here, actually, because this is... Yep, this is totally a another way you can go. Yep, there we go. Huh? And there is maybe Emily. Emily! It's definitely. Uh -oh. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Not now, Dad. Put that... Okay, well... Stop! That's no good. Dad, stop killing my girlfriend. Zack, did you see that? I must be getting tired. No, your gauge looks pretty good, actually. Tired gauge is looking decent. That sky, however, boy, that's a storm of brewing. Would it be fun if the mansion transforms into something unexpected? Yes, it would be fun. It would also be a little bit terrifying. 
press this one first. Is that the, the secret is you just gotta run? <laughs> yes it is, that's the secret. That's how you, I wonder what happens if you don't pass that. Does it like kill you? Do you die of shame? Not having figured that out. Very funny they played the puzzle music, like that's a puzzle. Does that mean that they're all gone? Maybe? I think maybe we left the other world. That's what that indicated. Yeah, we are definitely getting close to the end game now. What up, Harry? My man! What is up, dude? Ah. Linux Mint, I see. A fellow gentleman, a man of culture. Zack, looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. What is that? Is that glass? Is that plastic? What the hell is that? Welcome, York. Hi. I brought the documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. You'll lose sight of what's important if you just rush past it. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure you know. So many people have got it all wrong. They think speed is the key. That being first is the best. Easy mistake to make. Speed, and they're satisfied with what the speed brings, even if it means that they miss so much on the way. We're talking about speed as a concept, right? Like not speed as in like the drug. I see everything that they don't. From here, I see it all. Then, when the time comes, I make use of what I've seen. I can get whatever I want in this way. Anything at all. You're certainly talkative today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Tell me everything you know. Speed is not important. Timing is what is Can you just look at the documents? And tell me what you know. You have a natural you. gift for waiting for the correct timing. Just be careful that your haste does not ruin everything. That will be vital to solving the current case at hand. York, I know more than you think, but less than what you hope. <laughs> One, you have Nick. It's like Dust. not. Two, Thomas is missing. Three, Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. What do you think but less than you hope? Case revolves around the red seeds. So you're an idiot, is what you're saying. That's about it. So you've got an inside line on police information. That it's a small town. Me. The victim's tongues were cut out, weren't they? But that's only a minor point. Don't let the shocks blind you to what's more important. That's another business tip. Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. Especially with all these computers the aren't FBI connected to anything. Too. Amazing. He hacked into the but FBI network. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson. He hacked the mainframe. Is this it? Is this my favorite favorite thing ever? I remember it as though it were yesterday, if you'll pardon the cliché. It was dark, rainy, a foggy night. My parents, who normally got along, were fighting over something. My 
my father was blaming my mother, it seemed. And so I left the house, headed for the clock tower. There was a party being held that day to celebrate the tower's completion. I wanted to see the town from above. Oh, I think it is. So I decided to climb. I think this is my favorite thing ever. Parking lot, the secret passage, parking lot. But when I reached the top, I saw something very strange. There were soldiers there, all wearing gas masks. The Gubberman! The Gubberman is the raincoat killer. Consciously counting. Seems like you did consciously know that. Yeah, how did no one know about this? None of these people know anyone outside of the town? He had the strongest power level. Look at him! He's just treating this like it's horde mode. It's a branch of a branch of a house. A house branch. For a moment, I didn't know what was occurring. Yeah, you done fucked up now. That guy. Raincoat killer so rad. The following morning, I awoke surrounded by dead bodies. It wasn't raining anymore, and the purple fog was gone. I couldn't believe what I saw and what I myself had done. But even worse things were waiting for me when I got home. My mother was dead. Killed, presumably, also by my father. He was trying to get the highest KD, bro. You just wouldn't understand, you filthy casual. The next day, the town was overrun by military personnel. That's when oh, the God, gag order was issued. Talking about the incident was unappreciated, a taboo. But even still, people stopped going outside when it Country folk are very patriotic. 
we never tell our children about what happened. But these Probably things should find have. a way out of even the tightest of lips, in parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat, which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. Quite a story. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today, when it rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. You're inside, what bro. What is true. And the killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. You need to draw the conclusions, not I. I have no conclusions. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas, then? Oh, the soil. This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. Oh my god, it's so loud. Attention, attention, Thomas has been found. One last and very important thing. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. Good. you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this. Everything changes in the Wild. Is he my dad? Good night, Dot Don Knobs. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> then die, I mean sleep. It's the the death that you wake up from in the morning. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for the raid, too. Appreciates it. Another chapter over. We're plowing through the game. They get shorter and shorter, these chapters. Oh yeah. We're so close to my favorite mission, I think. I can't remember when it is, but I thought it was pretty close to now. It might be pretty soon. It might not actually be. It might be after the Thomas thing. I think Thomas becomes like a big plot point for him. Oh, it's raining. Well, that's good. Unless it's going to drag me into the mission immediately. York, we found Thomas. Ah, uh, he's at his house, right? How did you know that? You idiots I didn't look in his house when he was missing? Ugh, whatever. Just you get fucking in. morons. George is heading over there already. Let's get a move on. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. All we need now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. I mean, no, we're not quite there. So 19 apartment. Damn, we are close. There's only like 26 chapters in this game. We could probably do this, uh, probably not tonight, but next stream, we could probably finish this game. Yeah, these last chapters go by super fast. Jesus, Emily, you're carding some, uh, 
tuning up, we'll say. Oh, we need to pick up my car. I forgot. York's car that plays American Idiot. I mean, uh, USA uh, Moron. Uh, is in Lysander's junkyard right now. There's that frame rate we all know and love. That good, good frame right here. So Parting wants to see if I can do any side quests too, but on the other hand it's like, eh, not really. This part is pretty much, you kind of have to do it anyway. It's got that, like, quest music. You know what I mean? Like that, you gotta go somewhere and do something music. You can't go fishing now. Oh, Jesus. frame rate is like slowing the car down. It's actually kind of funny that the frame rate actually makes it like a little bit easier to drive because when it slows down you have more time to react to things. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't the right way. I forgot Thomas lives in the, these apartments over here. Kind of crazy that he can't afford a house and oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Oh sweet Mary and Joseph. What do I do now? Can I even back up? Mark, this is not the time to be goofing around. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Now we got. This is. We're dead. We gotta reload a save. Yeah, we goofed that up bad. Jesus. I'm like. I'm screwing up this game more than I've ever screwed up this game before. Previously, during the. Now we know what happened. We just got stuck on a sign, dude. We were defeated by the sign sign boss. All right, let's try that again. It's weird. There's episodes and chapters. Episode three, like what? There's only been three. You mean acts? I didn't think this is really following an act structure anyway. It's like chapter 19, episode 3. It seems like these chapters are, and episodes are totally random. Holy moly. We'll get there eventually. We have to do this whole driving segment over again. But you know, it's deadly premonition. If you don't want to drive, it's like, boy, you are you playing the wrong fucking game.
Like, every time I hear the help heartbeat, I get a little bit worried. So I always, when I first started playing the game, I just assumed you like had a heart attack and died when that thing filled up. But as as we know from the last time I streamed this game, we did chest it out. Actually, you just kind of like have to t t tuck yourself out and you have to take a break. Okay, uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Actually, hold on, hold on. I think this is still the fastest way to get there. I'm not mistaken. This time what we'll do is we'll just follow the road here. Because I think it's actually... I know where the, we're going to the apartment complex, because that's where it is. So I think if you just go down here, down the main road, I think we're in good shape. If you just don't want to... Go too far over. Actually, we're not in good shape. We should have gone the other way. Because this is exactly where we were last time when I got stuck. I think this... No, it's not this way. It's the next way. Keep going. I'll just keep going around because it's better to take it a little slow and not get stuck. Not have to repeat the whole quest, too. There we go. Now we're on the right road. Oh, can we not drive in oncoming traffic, my guy? Oh, my God. And say, watch me be stuck in that hole now. Oh, oh God, we're fish tailing. Here we are. Oh my lord. This is Gord. Why are you panting, girl? You were just in a car. George, what's happened? You received an anonymous call informing us that Tom's returning home. Sent Emily to get you right away. No idea. Who just called me? No. Actually, guess there's no cell phones in this game. To see if the information was correct. A light did come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. It was Thomas. Okay, I'm going in. You two wait here. We'll be ready to burst in at any moment. Just call out. Thanks, Emily. Appreciates it. Zach, it's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Cover, cover, concealment, that mesh fence? It's like, I don't know if it's a good place to hide behind. Getting fancy in here. Oh, it's actually diegetic music coming from the record player that is not spinning. This song has already finished playing. Oh no, it hasn't. I thought it was diegetic, it's not. What was the song? a vital piece of the puzzle. 
So let's take a look, see what we can find here. What's in the fridge? Cherry pie! Ooh, boy, I don't know if I put that in my mouth. Oof, that's a pretty rough one. Uh, the fuck? Magazines and footprints. Whoa, what is that? The game did not like that. Whatever was making that sound, the game did not like that crunchy shit. Is it just coming back? You son of a bitch. Okay, we'll save and we'll try and unplug and plug it back in, because apparently this is just going to be a dick about it. This is the problem. I don't know what it is. Sorry about that. All we did is we went over here and looked at the red wig. Then I read out everything it said, which is why you do stuff like that. Some more heavy brand cigarettes. My mic is working. That's good. That's a good start. Sure, we'll take a lollipop. Why not? What is this record? The same record. You have this, two of the same record. Why? Huh? <gasps> footprints. A series of bootprints. Culprit must have entered this room. Wet bootprints. need a profile. We don't need a profile yet. We haven't we haven't found anything yet. <sighs> this door is locked from I was gonna say I thought it was locked from both sides. Here's the last clue. Thomas's shoe. Thomas apostrophe shoe. Just we found the bathtub they were wet which means the person didn't have time to take that off. Well, they did take them off. They're in, the, they're in the bathtub. Obviously, they had time for it, or else it wouldn't be in the bathtub. So Thomas doesn't look like a smoker. I don't know if it's cool if you smoke in his room. Thomas was just in here dancing in uniform. Then the raincoat killer showed up. Thomas took his shoes off? Her shoes off? Oh, put them on! Thomas is cross-dressing. <sighs> yeah, that's a little wild. So, Thomas wants us to look around for him a bit more. So there's more to it. 